Hello everybody and welcome to my very first Wine and Nine Wednesdays. So this is what I'm going to start doing. Every Wednesday I'm going to do Wine and Nine and share my favorite golf tip with you guys or whatever we're working on that week. So I'm combining two of my favorite things, Wine and Nine Holes, to do Wine and Nine Wednesdays. So today we are going to be enjoying some wine, and it is a 2015 Barbara. So we've got that, and my handy dandy little portable wine um, koozie container thing. It even comes with its own little lid that comes off. So let's pour some of this. Thought I already got it open. Cheers. Does this count as drinking and driving? I don't think so. I don't really think that counts on a golf course because then cart girls would be out of business. So, so another thing that I really love about playing nine holes is that, that it's actually my favorite way to practice because I come out and I just take a few balls and I hit different shots from everywhere. And to me, that's so much more productive than just sit, hit it, staying in one spot and hitting the same shot over and over again. Like, I want to practice playing golf. I don't want to practice on the range, if that makes sense. So to me, it's my favorite way to practice. Just come out, play nine holes, play a few balls, throw some balls around the green, practice different short game shots. It's, um, I think, the most productive. All right, so we're gonna go over a very highly debated topic right now, which is the new ruling decision, flag stick can be left in while you're putting. So a lot of people have questions about, like how do I use this to my advantage? This is my opinion. Hold on. Okay, you guys. So for a downhill putt, I think that leaving the pin in is going to be more beneficial, and let me tell you why. Speed is so hard to judge when you've got a downhill putt because there's just a lot of variables with your speed and your line. And I think that if you've got the pin in, it's like another backstop for you. So it kind of makes it a little bit easier and the pin's almost catching the ball, if you will. I do think though, for an uphill putt, I think that out is better because when you have an uphill putt, you need to really make sure that you give that putt good speed so it holds its line. And I think that in that aspect, the pin's in the way because what if you give it a little bit more speed that you need for an uphill putt and it hits the pin and bounces off. So that's my opinion for leaving the pin in versus out um, for downhill versus uphill. The other thing that I think that I would like the pin in for is long lag putts because for me, visually, I like to look at the flag better when it's in the hole from a long distance for two reasons. Number one is I just think mentally and visually, it gives me a better concept of that I'm not trying to press or hold the putt. I'm just trying to get it as close as I can so I can get my two putt and get out of there. So if the pin's out, I just feel like sometimes people including me it's like you just want to make it and then you end up blowing it way by or leaving it short because you're just thinking way too much about it so for a lag putt keep it in try to do as best as you can just get it in the vicinity of the hole don't worry about making it just try to get it as close as you can to that pin get your two putt and get out of there so in my opinion those are some things to think about next time you're playing and you're trying to decide whether to leave the pin in or out
Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna be doing this every Wednesday, and I'm gonna be having some guests come on and have a drink with me and play Nine Holes, some really cool people, and it's gonna be so much fun, and um, I really just wanna share my love for the game with everybody, and um, I've always loved playing like Twilight Nines. Like, that's my happy place. I love just coming out in the afternoon, playing Nine Holes. It's so peaceful. Have a glass of wine, relax. Golf is so fun. And and I just want to share that with everybody and I hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am. So in honor of this, happy Wine and Nine Wednesday.